David Platt, what a way to start the game. You take the first leg and then the second leg. You wired the double 12 for a nine dart, so you must have been oh. thinking, oh! Yeah, that's painful for any dart player uh, who plays darts. Like, you know, I've hit nine darts before on the, on the DPA tour, and to do it on TV would have been like, yeah, man. Michael Smith doesn't make it easy for you. Um, I think you woke him up when you when you did that. Yeah, I think I did. I think I, I, I jumped on the first two legs because he was playing like mediocre darts, and uh, and I wasn't playing brilliant myself. And I just thought, well, I'm turning a lot. I've got a chance here now, but he uh, I carried on playing mediocre darts, and that, that's not good enough against these boys. Well, as they always do, they come down and, and, and show us what being the, the, a full-time professional is all about. And mm. With the guys down there, obviously, part-timers, um, having full-time jobs as well, it makes it a lot more difficult with the practice and to be able to put that amount of time in to the darts to, to yeah. actually match that level full-time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, that this is their job. I mean, my, my job is chucking paint on walls, literally. Um, yeah. You get what you deserve really in darts. I mean, if you put the effort in, you'll get the rewards. These players have to do the effort because that's their job. Um, I'm not saying I don't put the effort in, because I do put the effort in. And, uh, but, you know, I'm disappointed how I played. In the run-up to this event, my preparation was good, my practice was good. I've had a lot of time off to repair a shoulder that was pretty manky, and that has gone good. So I've got no excuses. I've got to be because... I was beat by, I wouldn't, ex don't take this wrong way, I, I, I weren't beat by a better player, I was beat because the nine dart miss affected me for two or three legs, I couldn't like switch back on, I was thinking, what if, what if, what if, if it had gone, if it had gone, if it had gone, and, and, and that's, the, that's the truth, you'll only get honesty from me as a player, and that's the truth, and then three legs cost me the match because like, when I did switch on and got back to my game, I was hitting good scores, but by that time, I, Pretty much the game was back in his in his corner, and um, for a seasoned dart player, I'm pretty disappointed that I let that do that to me. To get what I mean, I was pretty disappointed. Well, it's often the case when players hit a nine dart, do they have a couple of dodgy legs because um, yeah. they're still on that high of that particular yeah. one? But back on the big screen again, where we we've missed you for a little while, sort of since last year, anyway. Yeah. Um, you're obviously wanting more of that. Oh yeah, man. Look. I'm a good advocate for darts because like, I'm passionate, I do a lot of promotion in, um, back in WA, in Perth. My time is consumed considerably by darts and putting other players and I suppose if I put my, myself first for once, maybe I'd be a decent player, maybe I'd, I'd turn these results around but hey oh, I mean it is what it is and I do what I do. Well look, you've done Perth. WA and Australia proud again tonight, mate, and we look forward to seeing you again in the very near future. Yeah, well, I think if you're a nice person, Mickey Brock, you're the man. <laughs>